how to make 200 dollars per month from google maps hey guys welcome to this new video in today's video i'm going to explain a method to generate from 200 dollars to 2000 dollars per month and you won't need any skill you will only need to find small business owners that need help with bad reviews and ranking in the search and for that we are going to use google maps then you will go to fiverr.com to hire a freelancer to, del to deliver the service instead of you doing it so let's get started first by going to google maps in your google chrome browser or any other browser you'd like to use then go to the search type the united states that's the market i'm going to choose to work on you can choose to work on any other market you'd like for me i prefer the united states and here make sure to choose a state a particular state to start with then move on to the other states after you have finished with outreaching or cold calling the all the businesses in this state so here i'm going to start with washington here let's start with seattle first so here i'm going to start with seattle so let's let's zoom in with that And this is how you can find the small business owners. Go to the city, then go to the search, type any any kind of small business you'd like to search for. For example, let's go with hair salon. And let's wait for it to load. Here and guys, make sure when you choose the small business owners, make sure to avoid the ones that has sponsored in their profile. And also make sure to avoid the ones with more than a th with, with with more than a hundred reviews. For example, like this one, two hundred reviews. These two has sponsored in their profiles. So just keep looking until you find the profile that has less than a hundred reviews, and also it doesn't have sponsored in the pro in his profile. For example, like this one. Let's click on it in here. and let's wait for it to load to see the profile so this is the profile 43 reviews scroll down check their website if their website is up to date or it's old we can offer to renovate their website or if you find any problems in their website we can also reach out and offer our help as a service for them so here let's scroll down this is their website and it looks a little bit small you can see everything in here let's scroll down so this is their website i think it's it's a little bit up to date but we'll use some renovations changing of of how it looks we can offer that let's scroll down also to see if we can find any bad reviews in their profile so here we have five star review five one star review the salon looks amazing and great reviews but when i reached out to book an appointment i was told my consultation would occur first which is standard protocol but that i would then need to wait up to a couple of weeks before i can get in for my appointment as someone who gets her hair done often the consultation is always included with the appointment same day it's as it's literally a 10 15 minute discussion about what my goal and is and how close we can get to that needless to say not impressed with their initial process so this is the first bad review we can use to convince the business owners to purchase our service which is removing bad reviews let's click on more reviews to see if we can find another bad review we can use let's wait for it to load and here let's scroll let's scroll down to see if we can find another bad review we can use to make this business owner our client so i think guys you get the idea you can look for the bad reviews in order to make them something you can convince the the business owner to work with you so you can just 
make him aware of the bad reviews that he has this is the bad review that i found out in your profile and this is how it affects your business business people who are looking to come to your business will see this bad review then will change their mind and will go to another salon so that is bad for your business and tell him that you can help with that and after you find your client if you are asking i don't know how to remove the bad reviews as i said before you won't need any skill you can just go to fiverr.com or the freelancing platform that you prefer then go to the search and search for whatever service you you are offering for example we are offering google maps business profile optimization and this freelancer does this service for 25 dollars so you can hire this freelancer for 25 dollars to do the job for this salon and you will get paid from this salon from 200 dollars to 100 dollars and you will keep what the rest of the money in your pocket for example if you got paid $200 and you pay the Fiverr freelancer $25, you will have $175 left with you. And you can multiply the method and use it on the other business owners. For example, if you are done with the first salon, then you move on to the other one, which is this one. This is the one we are working on. Let's move on to this other one, which is Juju Hair Salon. As I said before, make sure to choose the ones that has less than 100 reviews in their profile. And scroll down, check the website always to see if you can add something to their website or if you can offer to renovate their website. This is how their website looks like. It looks very rocky, as you can see. It's very it's not that good so you can offer to renovate their website that's the first service we can offer them and the second thing we can also offer to remove the bad reviews as well so let's just scroll down until we find the bad review we can use when we outreach them or we when we call call them in order to convince them to buy or to purchase our service for example like this one it's a one star review do not do not go here for a haircut so you can just let them be aware of this bad review and how it affects their business for the bad of their business how it can how it can take the clients away from them and how it can lose them a lot of money so I think guys you get the idea, that's it for today's video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends.